The Life and Sad Ending of Martha Ray Martha Ray was born August 27, 1916, at St. James Hospital in Butte, Montana, as Margie Reed. Her father, Peter F. Reed Jr., was an Irish immigrant. Her mother, Maybelle Hazel Reed, was raised in Milwaukee in Montana. Her parents were performing in a local vaudeville theater as Reed and Hooper when their daughter was born. Two days later, her mother was performing again. Martha first appeared in their act when she was three years old. She later performed with her brother, Bud, and the children became so popular that their parents' act was renamed Margie and Bud. In the early 1930s, Ray was a band vocalist with the Paul Ash and Boris Moros orchestras. She made her first film appearance in 1934 in a band short titled A Night in the Nightclub. In 1936, she was signed for comic roles by Paramount Pictures and made her first picture for Paramount. Her first feature film was Rhythm on the Range with crooner Bing Crosby. From 1936 to 39, she was a featured cast member in 39 episodes of Al Jolson's weekly CBS radio show, The Life Buoy Program, also called Café Trocadero. In addition to comedy, Martha sang both solos and duets with Jolson. Over the next quarter century, she would appear with many of the leading comics of her day, including Joe E. Brown, Bob Hope, W.C. Fields, Abbott and Costello in Keep Em Flying, and Charlie Chaplin in Monsieur Verdu and Jimmy Durante. She joined the United Service Organizations in 1942, soon after the U.S. entered World War II. She was known for the size of her mouth, which was large in proportion to her face, earning her the nickname The Big Mouth. Her large mouth would relegate her motion picture work to supporting comic parts and was often made up so that it appeared even larger. In the Disney cartoon, Mother Goose Goes to Hollywood, she is caricatured while dancing alongside Joe E. Brown, another character out actor known for a big mouth. In the Warner Brothers cartoon, The Woods Are Full of Cuckoos, 1937, she was caricatured as a jazzy scat-singing donkey named Mouthe Bray. She was a television star very early in its history. She starred in the short-lived The Martha Ray Show, which ran from 1954 to 1956, with 28 episodes. Opposite, retired middleweight boxer Rocky Graziano, who played her boyfriend. Some of the guest stars on the show were Zsa, Zsa Gabor, Cesar Romero, and Broadway dancer Wayne Lamb. She also appeared on other TV shows in the late 50s, such as What's My Line? Following the demise of her TV variety show, the breakup of her fifth marriage, and a series of other personal and health problems, she attempted suicide by overdosing on sleeping pills on August 14, 1956. Well-wishers gave her a St. Christopher's Medal, a St. Genesis Medal, and a Star of David. After her recovery, she wore these amulets faithfully, although she was neither Catholic nor Jewish. At the conclusion of each episode of her TV shows, she would thank the nuns at the Sisters of St. Francis Hospital in Miami, Florida, where she had recovered. Later in her career, she made television commercials for Polident Denture Cleanser, principally during the 70s and 80s. In 1970, she portrayed Boss Witch, the queen of all witchdom, in a feature film, Puff and Stuff, for Sid and Marty Croft. This led to her being cast as villainous Benita Bizarre in The Boogaloos, 1970, which the Crofts produced the same year. Her last film appearance was as an incontinent airline passenger in the disaster film The Concord, Airport 79. In her personal life, Ray's per personal life was complex and emotionally tumultuous. She was married seven times. Her engagement to orchestra leader Johnny Torrance was announced in June 1936. Less than two months later, they divorced. She was married to makeup artist Hamilton Buddy Westmore from May 30, 1937 until September of that year, filing for divorce on the basis of extreme cruelty. With composer-conductor David Rose from October 8, 1938 to May 19, 1941. With Neil Lang from May 25th, 1941 until February 3, 1944. With Nick Kondos 
from February 22, 1944 to June 17, 1953 to Edward T. Begley from April 21, 1954. October 6, 1956 to Robert O'Shea from November 7, 1956 to December 1, 1960. The last person, Mark Harris, from September 25, 1991 until her death. She had one child, a daughter, named Melody Condos, born 1944, with her fourth husband, Condos. Ray's final years were plagued by ill health. She had a history of cardiovascular disease and suffered from Alzheimer's disease, in addition to losing both legs in 1993 due to poor circulation. Sadly, Ray died at age 78 of pneumonia on October 19, 1994. She was buried with full military honors in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Ray has two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, one for motion pictures at 6251 Hollywood Boulevard and the other for television at 6547 Hollywood Boulevard.